Hello friends, welcome to Indian Pacific. Today we are going to learn about variables. So let's take our first question and understand what is variable. So it holds the value which is used when we will run our program. So whenever we are executing or running our program, in that case we have written some business logic or some logic. In that logic we are using some values. So those values will be holded by particular variable. Basically variable represent the memory location. Let's define one simple variable and understand it. So here you can see I have defined one variable integer x is equal to 10. So here integer is the data type. So I will create the separate video so we can understand data types in depth. But here you can see integer is the data type and x is the variable name. Here 10 is the value of this x variable and it is holded by the x variable. So whenever we will define any variable something like integer x is equal to 10 so this 10 value will be stored at the particular memory location so here we can see from the diagram that 10 is stored at 10100101 memory address so this is the simple way to understand the variable now let's move and understand the types of variables available in java so there are three types of variables in java local global and static so in this video, I will just explain local and global variables because to understand the static variable and static keyword, I will create the separate video so we can understand in depth about the static variables. Now let's move to the programming part and understand the variables by creating simple programs. So here I have created one simple Java test class. So inside this test class, I am going to create one main method I'm going to create one variable inside this method integer x is equal to 25 so I'm going to print this variable using x name so here 25 value will be stored at particular memory location so whenever I will run this program it will print 25 in the console so this is the way that you can define the local variable so scope of this local variable is up to this main method if you want to use the x variable outside the main method then it will compile compiler will show compile time error now let's try to use the same thing i'm going to create one method public void and print variable okay. so i'm going to use that variable inside this method so once I will save this file, we can see the compiler error is here. Compiler doesn't know that what is the meaning of this x. But if we define this variable at global level or a class level, in that case our variable becomes global and this compiler error will result. And we are able to print this variable by creating the object of this test class and then we will call the method of print variable by using test object so once i will run this program we are able to print the value of 25 of x variable because in this case this variable is global so scope of this variable is up to this class now we can use the x variable in any other method Let's define the same variable inside the local method also. So if I have defined x is equal to 50. So here we can see the variable names are same. The value, value of x is 50 in the print variable method. And value of x is 25 at the class level. So in this case if I will run the program. Then 50 is going to print it. Because priority is given to the local variable so whenever we will try to print this variable value in that case x is equal to 50 is there so 50 value is printed now let's try to use the same variable inside the static main method so if you want to use any non-static method non-static variable inside the static method and if the variable is outside this method so we cannot use we must define our variable static we 
will create other videos so we can understand static keyword and static variables in depth but if we want to use the x variable here inside the main method then we must define this variable as a static because static methods can only use the static variables which is coming from outside now let's going to print this variable so value is 25 so this is the way if you define the variable at class level then it becomes global variable if you define the variable at method level then it becomes local variable and scope of this variable is up to this method and scope of the global variable is up to this class so if you want to learn java from scratch then like this video press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will get the all updated videos thank you